You guys have heard of obbies, right? Stuff like this, generally ranging from mega fun obby type stuff, to difficulty charts, to things like Tower of Hell and Jato, to the topic of this video. That topic is tiered obbies. These are relatively unknown obbies that range from a literal walk to the finish line, or tier 1, to damn near impossible jumps that nearly defy the Roblox physics engine, or tier 20. So what are these obbies, how do they work, and how hard can they actually get? Okay, so before I get started, each tiered obby I or other people play in the background will have its name and tier on the bottom left, with the equivalent difficulty and the equivalent star rating, effortless is 0, easy is 1, medium is 2, etc, etc, up to no which is 13, and credits if applicable. The first few sections will be examples from each tier, and after that, we'll be discussing the hardest tiered obby completions along with those examples. Alright, let's start. So, before I get into explaining exactly what these are, I should probably explain what the tier system is first. The tier system is kind of like the difficulty chart system, and just in case you don't know what that is, I will explain what that is first. The difficulty chart system is made up of difficulties ranging from effortless, which is something that literally anyone can do, to nil, which is basically impossible for the vast, vast majority of people, including and especially me even. No difficulty is only for the best of the best obvious, and even most of those people can't do anything at that difficulty. This is effortless difficulty, and this is an example of nil. The tier system works about the same, and it's about two times the previous difficulty per tier. So tier 1 is half as hard as tier 2, and tier 2 is half as hard as tier 3. This tier system ranges from 1 to 25, where 1, which is effortless, is possible for quite literally everybody, such as in this obby called Tranquility. As for tier 25, well, none actually exists. Well, one obby actually exists at the tier 25. And the closest we have that isn't that tier 25 is a tier 23, which is peak nil and beyond, called Umholt von Leiden, and this is what it looks like. You can't even do the first jump. And just for reference, the hardest tier obbies completed are tier 18, and I'll get into the hardest completions later. Above this, it gets really hard to properly judge the difficulty due to how fucking insane it is. Anyways, that's what the tier system is, so now let's get into the obbies themselves. Tiered obbies are generally themed, kinda. Purest obbies that barely have any jumps, say 10 to 20 at best. Purest meaning that there aren't any client objects, which is this kind of stuff, which are parts that have like scripts inside them that make them do stuff. So like conveyor belts and spinning parts, things like that. Generally, that's the idea behind them. This means that these obbies will generally be harder to compensate for that, which means the difficulty can feel way off from what you're used to. So this isn't an official classification by any means, but I would rate the easy obbies between tiers 1 and 5 or effortless to difficult or so. These are the obbies that the average player can realistically do without needing insane camera control, which is precise camera movement basically, and know-how for stuff such as trust flicks and ladder flicks and things like that. A few examples of this from each tier are Marathon, which is Tier 1, Tier 26 Laser Device Death Machine of Doom, which is also Tiered 1, Stars and Sprockets, which is Tier 2, Viridescent Oblivion, which is also Tier 2, Neo Glacia, which is Tier 2 as well, Beginner's Luck, which is Tier 3, and Silent Struggles, which is Tier 5. There's also so much more to find in this tier, by the way, and these are just a tiny fraction of the obbies that actually exist. At this point, we are going to be covering obbies that only above average to decently seasoned obbyists can do. This is, from what I would say, is tier 6 to 10, more challenging, intense, and remorseless. Around this point, you need to start knowing how to properly time your jumps, do trust flick, wraparounds, and in general, more advanced moves that the average obbyist probably can't do. But I'm not an average obbyist, so I can show you all some gameplay of these obbies. The obbies themselves can range from relatively easy and long to hard as fuck and really short too. And for the ones that are really short, you start needing to have legitimately good camera control. Some examples of obbies within this tier are Mint Serendipity, Tier 6, Trust Enhancement Ritual, Tier 6, It Slipes, yes that is actually the name, Tier 7, Backyardiga, Tier 7, Cylindric, also Tier 7, Past One's Prime, which is Tier 8, Trust Lake, which is also Tier 8, Snacks, Tier 9, Mintastic, Tier 10, and Homage Vortex, 
also tier 10. Trust Lake and Snacks are actually some of the first tiered obbies that I heard about, by the way, which was back in about 2020 when tiered obbies were really obscure. So, yeah. Alright, this is where shit actually starts getting insane. Literally. All of these obbies from tiers 11 to 16 is the transition from relatively difficult to some of the jankiest, most unbearable, and nearly impossible gameplay that can feasibly be done by a human. Starting with tiers 11 through 13, or Insane High Extreme, it isn't exactly too different from before, however it is slightly harder of course. This is when you start needing to not only have good camera control, but also phenomenal timing for your jumps. You will also likely be seeing junks that look like this, where you may not know where to land at a first glance. Around tier 12 to 13, the shorter obbies almost disappear completely, and the ones that do exist have almost impossible jumps like this that require a bit of luck to even do at times, especially the mid-high tier 13s. Those almost act like a slightly easier tier 14. There are still plenty of longer relatively easy obbies in this section however, like Rocky Shore. Most jumps here fall likely around the tier 6 to 8 mark with a few barely clipping tier 9, or Fractured, which is a low tier 13. It's decently long, but the jumps are also decently easy. This is also the category where a lot of the original popular tiered obbies are, with stuff such as Acrophobic, which I actually played on camera a few years ago, and An Empty Bliss Beyond This World, which is less known being here. A few examples of obbies in these tiers are Trussing, Tier 11, Rocky Shore, Tier 12, Sao Jangi, Tier 12, This is the Obby, Tier 12, and Fractured, Tier 13. From Tier 14 to 16, or Terrifying and Catastrophic, this is where obbies transition from either being short and hard as hell, or long and easy, to almost only longer and hard as hell. The shorter obbies that do exist are so hard that they are basically impossible. Take this one, for example, called 28. It's a relatively short tier 14 obby that I can't even do the first jump of, and I actually can't even do the majority of the obby due to how ridiculously hard these jumps are. Or Outer Spatial, which is an even shorter, high tier 14 obby. This is where the jankiness I was talking about really, truly kicks in. Good luck even getting past the first jump, let alone all the trusting shit. Then we have tier 15, which is slightly harder and jankier than tier 14, as you may expect. The obbies in this tier are officially near the top of the difficulty chart, and there's a lot of them that exist, such as this one called Denial, which is a low tier 15, or Path of Unimaginable Misery, which is another low 15. There's also Set in Stone, a high tier 15, but it's also really long, so the jumps aren't really too awful, at least by tier 15 standards. After this is tier 16, and holy shit, there is a lot to say about this one. So take yourself back to 2021. You're one of the top obvious that there are in the community, and you want to be an obby, naturally. So what do you do? Well, you beat this shit called Comatose. This is the first tiered obby that I ever was around to see its first completion for. While I don't actually know exactly who the first victor of this obby was, I know that it was likely initially done in early 2021 because of the video by some dude named Old Man Willikers, which is the earliest one I could find. March 16th, 2021 is the completion date. This completion was absolutely fucking monumental in the community at the time, and put him at the, one of the best obbies that there was. Before we move on, I would like to note some other obbies in this tier. Around where we are, the obbies started to get nigh impossible, even if they are relatively long. You also start absolutely requiring a thing called lodging, which is used very frequently in higher tier obbies, where you get yourself stuck between two walls in such a way to where you move upwards or forwards, like so. Take this obby, for example, called Eclipse. I'm not sure how the fuck you do the first jump of this one, and some of the jumps in this obby quite literally look like this. Just why? Why the fuck would you do this to yourself? There's also the Void, which is a short, high tier 16 obby, which starts off with whatever this is. The fact this jump is even possible is fucking insane to me. I don't even want to know how people can complete this, and yet people do anyway, such as this guy named Inez YT, I think that's how you pronounce it, on top of a list of other people, it seems. This obby also requires lodging at times from what it looks like. And then we have Cobalt Paradox. This obby is actually long enough to where the jumps aren't even that awful for its difficulty, 
even though it's a mid-tier 16. The jumps are still hard as hell, though. There's no getting around that. But they're still easy enough to where I can actually do a couple of them, no issue. So, those were the soul-crushing difficulties. And somehow, we still aren't done with this, so let's keep going. Tier 17 and 18. Horrific and Unreal, 11 and 12 stars. These are where the hardest official completions lie simply due to the fact that anything above them is just not possible for people right now. Tiered obbies aren't really made for these tiers too often at all too, so it's really hard to get good at this sort of gameplay. But somehow, somewhere, there have been completions of some of these obbies. The most popular completion of a tier 16 or 17, at least the most popular one I was around for, is Mint Skies. Believe it or not, this was actually beaten before Comatose somehow. The original completion date is January 17th, 2021, or a whole two months before Comatose. Anyways, this obby is probably the most janky thing I've ever seen, being comprised of uh, a lot of trussing. A lot of it. Along with stuff like this and this. I don't even know how all the mechanics worked here. Just wow. Actually, Tier 17 is not only where some of the hardest obbies are, but also some of the hardest towers. Seriously, there's a peak Tier 17 obby called Purest Hell that's actually a part of Floor 21 of Citadel of Void, which is this thing right here. Another example is Ikea Tower, which somehow is horrific on here, even though it shouldn't really be, it should be nil, which is two entire difficulties higher. And it only is one actual victor, and it's a very, very recent win too, from literally only two weeks ago as of writing the script, June 23rd, 2024. It's the first no difficulty tower to be properly beaten in fact, however it could also be argued that this tower is only just unreal. There's also Tower of the Roof's Peak, which is a low tier 17 that literally two people have beaten. Ever. Apart from that, the rest of the obbies are actually real obbies, and some examples include Slated, which is low tier 17, Distinction, also low tier 17, Slate Valley, high tier 17, and Trustneak, high tier 17. After this, we have the tier with the hardest humanly completable obbies that are around, apart from uh, the unbelievably long ones. Tier 18, Unreal Difficulty. Some obbies in the past have managed to earn the distinction of tier 18, but later got bumped down to 17 once we could properly judge them, but there's still a lot of them that have been at the very least verified, but only like one or two have been completed. So far, the hardest obby that isn't a tower that has officially been beaten is called Sharp Mint. It's a tier 18, and is basically mint skies, but without the checkpoints. By this point on our journey, even with near frame perfect timing and camera control, the amount of luck required to even beat these obbies is just absolutely unbelievable. Impossible for me to do, and for everyone apart from the rare few that can, such as somebody named Boom Sasok or another person named Skitsuna, both of which these people are the top obbyists in the community right now. Beyond tier 18, judging how hard an obby is becomes nearly impossible due to just how time consuming these obbies get to even beat and how hard they become, and most if not all of the ones that have been verified fall under one category. Long. Very long. So long in fact that these obbies may take upwards of half an hour to complete, with some being even longer than that. A really great example of this is an obby called Stairway to Heaven, a high tier 19. Allegedly. This obby is so long and hard that there's no verified winners even after existing for over four years, and there's not even an all jump completion that I could find anywhere, which is a completion where you don't have to do every jump without failing. Probably the best example of an obby with this type actually is an obby called Misplaced in Time, which is also based off of Everywhere at the End of Time, which is a dementia album. The jumps start normal, but become more janky as it goes on. In fact, the time it takes to beat, it has 500 jumps in it, combined with how hard it is, doesn't make this a tier 19. It doesn't even make it a tier 20. It makes it a tier 21 obby. A low tier 21, but still, it's a tier 21. Another tier 21 is actually what is basically a sequel to Misplaced in Time, called Drifting Time Misplaced. It's a high tier 21, and I don't even think it's humanly viable to beat just because of the sheer difficulty itself. Don't even get me started on the jankiness of the gameplay, because that also makes it practically impossible to know where to go. The last obby I'm going to discuss in this section is one I've actually featured as background footage in my videos before. Devoid. 
it's by far the hardest obby that you can realistically do. Not in terms of the actual jumps difficulty, no no. The jumps are easy, only ranging from tier 7 to 12 or intense to high insane difficulty. That's not why. It's the hardest because it's almost 6 entire fucking hours long. I'm not even joking. This obby has a total of 2,004 jumps as well, making it the longest tiered obbies that there is to my knowledge. Beyond this, there are practically no obbies that exist, apart from Unholt Von Lighting, which is a tier 23, which I discussed earlier, which only one jump has been done from that obby, and the trusses, a tier 25 obby, which is truss mechanics that are so glitchy that it's literally impossible from what I can tell to beat. And the luck required to beat this obby is so unimaginably insane that I don't even think it will ever be beaten. So yeah, that's the unknown side of Roblox obbies. Thanks for watching.